gravy's burning. The gravy's burning. Yo, the burning. God damn it. Son of a biscuit. Yo, yeah, the gravy's burning. I'm going to add in some stock. I'm going to add in some stock. I'm using the metal. <laughs> hey, hey. That's hay with a J because Swedish is just fun like that. Oh, oh. Well, today we're taking Ikea's iconic food court item and making fancy Swedish meatballs. Ooh, you got strong teeth like a donkey. Will Trevor and I elevate this dish enough to take it out of a food court and into a Michelin star restaurant? Why is there lingonberry on me? <laughs> or will our attempt fall apart like a Fjallkinga dresser that came with no Allen wrench? I'm Bad skating. at it like a goblin. I'm Bad skating. at it like a goblin, buddy. That's how you do it. Trevor, welcome back to my car. Break out those balls. I tell you what, your car is looking messier than I've ever seen it. I'll tell you what, this is the first time where I've shot a fancy fast food in my car and I just decided to not clean it because I'm done putting on airs for all you people, you know what I mean? There's, I don't need to pretend to be somebody I'm not. You've got like a, a full drink menu of bottles down yeah, here. Yeah, show them some, show them some, show okay. them some. See if we can get a sponsorship. Well, so we've got the Waterloo Blackberry Lemonade. That's that good sounds one. That good. That was a good one, pretty good. pretty good. We've got Harmless Harvest Organic Coconut Spent $8 water. at the gym on that one. I regret that purchase, but I thought I was gonna pass out while squatting. Uh, raspberry Ooh. black tea. That sounds very we got a, there's a big There's a whole box back here, too. Uh, a La Croix mm. beach plum. Yeah, I have, I have diverse tastes. Um, we've got the Ikea plate here. This is the whole platter. We got the, the chateboulard. The chateboulard, yes. The Swedish meatball is covered in the gravy. We got the lingonberry jam. Mm. Mm. Oh, just the lingonberry sweated with the meatballs in here. Yeah. It's supposed to be broccoli, but they're out of broccoli, so they're just peas, <laughs> okay. which is fine. Yeah. And a little scoop of potatoes. And a little scoop of potatoes. You do? You, are you the person that like goes to IKEA and gets the meatballs? Hell no. <laughs> what no. You, get? you know what I do do is I, I, at the end I'll get like a little box of like the wafer cookies. Yo. I'll get yeah. like a little tin of the wafer cookies. Like the, it's like schoogle porn. <laughs> <laughs> no, not schoogle porn. Their meatballs just taste like a TV dinner, right? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with TV dinner meatballs, but I mean, no. they're frozen in a bag. Yeah. They're squishy, they're salty as hell. Yeah. I don't go to the Ikea food court. I feel like by the time I'm done shopping at Ikea, the last thing I want to do is spend more time there. <laughs> I'm kind of the opposite, where I get Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> and I, Sweden. 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 I really want, I want to try and make the fanciest version of Swedish meatballs possible. Okay. Well, so thank you to this. I swear to God, this meatball, you don't have to chew it. <laughs> this is the best meatball for people who don't have teeth, <laughs> which is a growing market for people who also love home assembling furniture. <laughs> yeah, man, I, I trust you. I think, you know, I'm really going to follow your lead on this one. It seems like you got some big ideas, some big plans. This meatball is just entirely covered in jelly. <laughs> uh, dude, I've been dipping in the jelly. It's not Ooh, bad. Ooh, I feel good. Ugh. Trevor, are you ready to go back to the kitchen and assemble some meatballs? Yeah, let's get Swedish with it. Yeah. Yeah, hey. <laughs> hey. Let's. Let. Tak tak. That's how you say thank you in Swedish. Oh, tak tak. I feel like I, I should know more Swedish. Oh, how you say hello in Swedish. Hello. <laughs> you know, Trevor, we actually have a lot in common with Ikea. Yeah, we do. Because yeah. everyone said that Ikea was dumb for offering a giant plate of meatballs and gravy while people shopped for their easy to assemble furniture and appliances. <laughs> easy to assemble. Yeah, but the thing is Ikea isn't dumb and we're certainly not dumb. You know why? No. Because I am Josh. And I am Trevor. And we and are we Wicked smart. smart. Oh, Boston <laughs> Bruins are yes. my favorite hockey team. Oh, yes, Linus Ullmark. Oh, I love that guy. Oh, oh, he's God. from Sveria. He's from Sveria. Yeah. He's from Sveria. Yeah. Tom Brady is the best quarterback. <laughs> Our Swedish accents are terrible. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> we're in Los Angeles. The Swedes, they can't come this far south because they melt. They melt down here. If they come. I'm kidding. I know a lot of Swedes say shout out. Yeah. Um, anyways, uh, <laughs> we're making, they give you the little chart of lingonberry jam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, lingonberries, or as they call them in Sweden, this is real, lingon. <laughs> I don't know. It's a thing that you eat a lot with meatballs or what are meatballs called in Swedish? Oh, shotbula. Shotbula. Yes, I do love the shotbula. Yes. So we're going to start making this, but we are also being inspired today by the um, Nordic cooking of the Michelin starred Grandmaster. It's the, the Nordic uh, minimalist food movement, Rene Redzepi of Noma. So we're going to try and get a little fancy with this. We're going to get a little weird. <laughs> Nobody knows what that means. What do you mean? In, okay, in like the mid 2000s, Noma, the restaurant from Rene Redzepi, who is, you know, Danish. <laughs> but he's actually Balkan by, you know, birth. Okay. He started this wave of what was called Nordic minimalism okay. where you would take all the ingredients from the earth and you would try and naturally preserve them. He's like cooking fish and beeswax and fermenting okay. reindeer penises and stuff like that. Penai, sorry. All right, uh, all right. So we're going to try and get some reindeer penis in our meatballs. Do you, fun fact about me, um, actually, I considered... I No, not even considered. I sent an email... Uh. Did you just drink this? Yeah, so this is a lingonberry concentrate. It's just sugar and reduced lingonberry juice. Strong. It tastes good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. No, I, I kind of <laughs> like that. 
I sent an email to a restaurant in Norway. Fun fact, Finland does not share a common root language with any of the other Nordic countries. Uh, it's loosely related to Estonian. <laughs> Estonia? Estonia. <laughs> the one. Sorry, you were saying, you were saying. No, what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, I sent an email to some restaurant uh, trying to apply. I was like, oh yeah, maybe I'll just move to. That was kind of a nice catch. Praise Ray Lingenberry. Ooh. I just not that important. I'm just not gonna finish the story. I'd like, I'd like you to finish the story. Trevor, please finish the story. I sent I'm sorry, for, I won't interrupt you anymore. I, I, I sent an email to him, and then they said no. <laughs> That's the story. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought it was going to be some more preamble. No, it was just like, oh, maybe I'll move to Norway. Um, and that tastes so bad. <laughs> ah, that is so bad. <laughs> Man, look at my, like my tongue's possessed. Oh, speaking of bitter and terrible, check out the black licorice that we got. What? We're this doesn't more look like a Twizzler. <laughs> you piece of crap. I swear to God, one more word out of you and I'm going to lose my SHI double hockey six. Um, <laughs> this is raw preserved licorice right here. Uh, another thing that I've never had, um, and I can't imagine it's going to taste good, lick right? It. What? No, we're going to put this in a little dish. I'm not just going to lick it. You go, What, you're going to grind the whole thing I don't thing know. I was gonna, not, no, like but I mean, like, we're gonna, give me a, I'll take a knife. I'll like, take a knife and try it. I, like, I literally have a hammer, bro. Like, like, oh, God, I'm, like, covered in lingonberry. I have a hammer. What is, it's like a rock. It's just a rock. You're going to bash it with a hammer? We got this greater it's bash like a it. It's no. Bash it. Trevor, bash the licorice. Yeah, here. Now we can taste it. No. Oh! God, it tastes like... Ah! Uh. Um, so based on the reactions that we've had thus far, it's though, fancy. Right? These are native ingredients to Sweden, where Ikea is from. And Trevor, when you're creating <laughs> your school, when you're making school gore, school gore, you're assembling your sloop and doop, you, you know, bular. <laughs> this <laughs> is, this is, listen, it's the first fancy fast food we've done in a while. This is off to a terrible start. We're going to make this good. We're gonna make this good. We got all this lingonberry flavor. We're gonna turn this into a fruit leather because we're gonna do like a fun natural sort of plate scape mm -hmm. to look like the Swedish wilderness okay. or the Burbank Ikea wilderness. Look at, look at, look at, what is this? Oh, this is black sugar from Okinawa. We're gonna add some, got them. Okay, I'm just gonna like chuck some of this in there. Always taste your ingredients before you add them in. You know, <laughs> even though, <laughs> you just eat a whole chunk. You ever just sit there and eat sugar? Got him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, you know, oh. I don't want to jinx us. Oh. It's kind of, it feels inevitable that we were, like, ah. we were destined to fail at some point, right? Yeah, that is true. We've made the best tasting foods on Fancy that we've ever had. Yeah, and it feels like this might be that streak coming to an end. <laughs> I think we need to make this plate represent the entirety of your IKEA experience. You should feel lost. <laughs> you should feel uncomfortable. You know what I mean? You don't really want to be there. Uh, but at the end, yeah. you know, you spent $700. Yeah, and you That's got the little like. jungle skog for yourself. Oh, the jungle? Okay, the jungle skog is good. And that wasn't the one that killed a bunch of kids. Mm. There was one <laughs> There was one cabinet. I'm going to let this reduce for a minute. We need to tell a story because it's hilarious. The mom! It wasn't mom? It was the mom, yes, because I recently bought that dresser. Same, same. And it came with a thing that said, oh. you have to sign a waiver that says you're gonna screw it into the wall so it doesn't fall over and kill someone. There's like someone. a 10-page pamphlet that like diagrams out a tiny child in the funny IKEA cartoon <laughs> way, like yeah. getting crushed by this cabinet. They killed like seven kids. <laughs> Bro, did you drill yours to the wall? More, what? No, I didn't do it. Yeah, I'm yeah. an adult, dude. I don't... No, the jungle skog is the little <laughs> bear. <laughs> We're gonna like spread it out super thin, get it in a D high. Okay. That's what the cool kids call it—a dehydrator. Oh, a is that so? Yeah. A little dehydrate, this bad boy. I found a good way to dehydrate things is to just uh, take a bunch of creatine and only drink diet coke instead of water. Because, <laughs> because I personally. <laughs> yeah, all right, let's shove this in. How do we try and keep it straight? Slap me. Yeah, and then we're gonna like make some cool little shapes out of that. Oh, we're gonna make cool little shapes? I think so. That would, that'd be what... Is that how they do it at the Noma? That is how they do it at the Noma number one restaurant, 15 <laughs> years running, except for that one time that Italian man did it. <laughs> All right, you wanna make some balls? Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> so here, here's the thing. So, so check check this out. So we're so we're we're over here making. We're here. We're here. So we're right here. We're, we're, we got an idea. You look like you just disappeared into the bathroom with three people and came out. Everyone's like, why did all three of you go to the bathroom together? Ooh, fired uh, up. So. We're gonna make some meatballs. We're making our shutzbula. These are the Swedish meatballs. Actually, one of my if I had to list my top five favorite meatballs, it's probably sukune, you know. And then we're going down to like uh, nem nem nung. Okay. You know, and then, but then we're probably going over to something like uh, Polpete. Okay. And then in that four to 12 range, we're hitting shut bullets. <laughs> Swedish meatballs. 
They're really good. They're typically made with a blend of meats. Um, I've only made these like once, like really tried to make the food. You know what I mean? And so we're using a blend here. We got Corbuda pork loin right here. Corbuda is also known as the Berkshire pig, lovely heritage breed of pig. We're gonna grind some of that up. That's gonna give you some lean flesh. We wanted to get reindeer penis. Couldn't get reindeer penis. <laughs> Couldn't get reindeer anything. Which one, get a reindeer penis broker. <laughs> to, like not just a vendor, but a broker in Burbank, California, because we couldn't find any. So we do have venison. That's an American deer. First of all, I'm gonna add some breadcrumbs to this here bowl. I'm gonna soften them up with milk. Uh, this bread is from uh, Bub and Grandma's lovely local bakery. This is just, I keep some in my back pocket all the time. It is a spelt polenta bread. You want some? You want some pocket bread? Uh, well, yeah. My pants are clean. Oh. Well, oh, fuck. it's a debate because like I put, here, just, I'll just rip it. Just, <laughs> you got strong teeth like a donkey. <laughs> all right. What the f We're gonna add some organic milk. Oh, man. I get this is tossed up. Did you talk about all the meats or just like one of them? <laughs> I don't remember, man. Okay, then we got Corbuda pork belly. Uh huh. And then, and then this, Josh, what is this? Well, I'm so glad you asked, Trevor. This, so that right there, that's an Australian Wagyu steak. It won six, Trevor has a pamphlet about it. It won six awards, not five, not seven, but six at the World Steak Championships. <laughs> How many awards do you want at the World Steak Championships? <laughs> Not a single one. I haven't won one yet. All right, I'm gonna start grinding up some of that loin. That's good. So venison's really lean, right? So is that pork loin. So that's why we're adding a lot of this delicious wagyu. I mean, there's some great fat coming in there. Give me some more bits. I, there's... I'm gonna get my fingers in front of the knife. We're gonna put a little piece of Josh in there. You're reaching over to the cutting board as I'm yeah. actively cutting meat. How much venison you eating in your life? <laughs> uh, I mean, I've like had some deer jerky, but not really any more than that. It's like almost perfectly fine. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, here's the thing, I find deer very cute, but I've learned that anyone who grew up around deer absolutely hates them. Any of y'all grow up around deer? How much do you hate deer? Fresh ground allspice. Mm -hmm. One of the things I love about Chut Bolar is the spicing on it. Mm -hmm. So typically you taste a lot of allspice, black pepper, and uh, nutmeg. Okay. And so that's great news. Okay. Look that, a little bit of nutmeg. You know this stuff will... Yeah. <laughs> I can't see you. I Did anybody grow up knowing that fact that nutmeg gets you high? <laughs> Wait, what? Salt, we got gold salt. If you're wondering what makes this gold, wow, this must be a fancy new type of salt. Like you have Hawaiian black lava salt, you have Himalayan pink salt. Gold salt must be fancy is what we thought when we bought this for fancy fast food episode that we're doing. Ingredients, natural dead sea salt, food color. You're just dying the salt <laughs> gold to get us to spend more money on it? One, it worked. But two, like, I feel kind of cheated now. Yeah. I don't know, what does it taste? Some cracks in? Can I, I That's a, salt. I had a joke from earlier, but I didn't get to tell it, but I thought it was funny. What's do you that? think it's like, could you talk about how nutmeg gets you high for a second? Hey, dude, do you know that nutmeg? You'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> you get like, <laughs> <laughs> Getting high off of nutmeg is like robo tripping for people that listen to Hosier. <laughs> Am I right? Damn. <laughs> Damn, man, I thought it was gonna be way different than that. I just. <laughs> Trevor, what's the best thing about balls? Oh, supple. They're supple. Yeah, but I'd say the shape is what I'm really after. And okay. so, <laughs> yeah. you know, otherwise you can have meat pucks, meat logs, you know, whatever. But I really prefer balls over logs. Spherical! The point, is, the point is we're trying to make these balls stay spherical. And so some people, they'll sear, sear them in a pan and then they get kind of weird and like triangular because you're flipping around. But if you deep fry them, it should lock in the perfect ball shape. But the problem is you gotta, you gotta jiggle them. When you drop them in there, because if you drop in too many, they'll stick together. So you're gonna drop them and you're gonna jiggle them. We got a bunch of buffalo butter. I'm gonna make a simple roux right here. We're gonna drop in a big old nub of that buffalo butter. That's melting in a rip roaring hot pan right there. That's fantastic. And I'm gonna take some of this here Wagyu beef tallow. Uh, Mr. Boss Man, What's how up? many you reckon I put in here at once? I'm uh, try one. Do it one at a time. Am I crazy for thinking this? There you go. Jiggle it. Get under. Get it's, under. It's under it's cup it and jiggle. <laughs> you gotta cup it and jiggle. Okay, it. cup it and jiggle it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cup and jiggle. I'm just making so. Yeah, I'm bad skating. at it like a goblin. I'm bad skating. at it like a goblin, buddy. That's how you do it. I'm gonna drop in some flour to make our roux here. I've heard your complaints about me using metal utensils on our nonstick pans. Normally I do it because most of our pans are garbage. This is one of the nice ones, so I'm not gonna use a metal whisk on it. You're welcome for me not ruining our own equipment. What, do, what, how do I know it's done, Josh? What do you mean, how do you know it's done? Well, no, do that. Yeah, pull, pull them out when they're parked. We're just trying to get it. Look how perfectly spherical that is. Yeah, it's perfectly spherical. It's, it's yeah, just lay it down there, just lay it down there while it's 
almost raw, and then we'll cook it in the gravy. Drop a little more flour in the there. God, I want to use that metal whisk in this pan so bad. God, I hate this burner so much. <laughs> you know where we got this burner? I can't. I'm not a good person. I hate it. Ow! Ow! What spattered? Something what? got me. <laughs> Something got me. He's doing monkey noise. What the heck? What happened? Oh no! <laughs> we thought it was blood. It was lingonberry. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been so shocked. Where did it come from? I don't know. There's lingonberry. Why is there lingonberry on me? <laughs> well, that had to have been from earlier. There's oh, no the way. the gravy's burning. The gravy's no, burning. The God room. damn it. Son of a biscuit. Yeah, the gravy's burning. We're going to add in some stock. We're going to add in some stock. I'm using the metal. I'm using the freaking metal. <laughs> add in our stock. Trevor's whooping like a freaking Gabon over here. No, Gaboon? Baboon? Bonobo. I'm gonna add in some bone marrow to this gravy because we're really trying to beef up the flavor on this gravy. You wanna suck some bone marrow out? Uh, uh, no, that oh, looks yeah, unappetizing. Yeah. I love bone marrow, but the way you presented it to me, it kind of looked like a, a, a bee hole. Yeah, 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 that's where bone marrow comes from though. Where do you think the bone comes from? Where's my gold salt? I want the gold salt. I hate all these colors of salt. Oh, Dude, that salt smells like fart. We got pink salt. Sniff it. <laughs> How many bottles? Oh, oh! Is this Nasi Lemak? Do I have to Sorry, I freaked out for a sec. You know, after the, after that lingonberry adventure, <laughs> that was pretty rough, that dude. That had to have been from, there's no, Ooh. there are no lingonberries in the vicinity. Ooh. What are you doing? Did you try that? Did I try what? You tried the, 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 the salt, the, the fart salt. No, I didn't. Where there's did it go? What did I do with it, AOC? <laughs> I'm to try it. There's some on the counter, but I need you to get it for me because my hands are covered. No, there's. Uh, oh! oh! We're adding a little bit of mustard. So, a little bit of mustard is just gonna really brighten up this gravy. Gravy's coming together. We just got a lot of blood. You wanna try it? Yeah, I do. You try some of the grapes? Yeah, I got six meatballs. Yo, this spoon was just in our drawer. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> okay, so uh, we're gonna finish the balls. <laughs> in the sauce right here. This is looking nice. Yeah, we're gonna, I want some more meat flavor in the sauce. We're gonna finish the balls in the sauce and then we're gonna make a little potato foam and then we're gonna plate it up. <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't know. Do you, is that all we have to do? Uh, you're, the, you're the man in charge. I guess, dude. What about the Ikea floor manager now? <laughs> the most important position, Ikea. Least important, theft prevention. Who's gonna carry out a whole Google star? <laughs> um, okay, so we're making, <laughs> Making like a potato foam. I don't know why. We could have just made like some nice mashed potatoes, but no, we're gonna go a little molecular gastronomy on it. We put the ass in molecular gastronomy. <laughs> and so we're gonna, pow! So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna mix up some of these rice potatoes. I'm gonna rice some more of these potatoes. Trevor, you potato yeah. up that rice. Potato, what? Uh, we're gonna, <laughs> I don't know. Instructions unclear. <laughs> All you internet folks know what comes after that. I don't. Uh, you actually don't? Uh, you don't know that joke? No. Oh. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mash some of the potatoes with the butter and we're gonna stream in a little bit of this here hot milk. All right, so we're gonna- If you wanna speak to my generation, <laughs> ah, literally shoot, hit the man. Fortnite Gwitty right oh, now. Oh God, I hate this. Literally I hit the Fortnite Gwitty right people now. so much, oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry, Trevor. Yeah. It's yeah, gonna sorry. take an incredible concentration. <laughs> okay. Um, so what we have here is Josh is doing an incredible concentration. Shh. Um, might say, let him cook. Uh, and that's what we're gonna do. Cook. We are gonna let him cook. Um. What? All the milk? You said to watch it. You said to not add all the milk. Keep going. Keep going. Let him cook. Ahem. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, well, we have a soupy, milky potato mixture. Yes. So the idea is that we're gonna add this to an ISI canister. Do you feel confident getting that into here? Not even a little bit, should we try it? Sure. Okay. Well, here, I think I can like... That's, no, that's actually super good, smart, right? yeah. I'm pretty smart. No, that's genius. Dude. Gotta pour it from my pie, I gotta do a bit of a high pour Dude, here. Dude, that's what happens when you let my boy Splash cook. Splash them here, yeah. That's what happens when you yeah, let my boy cook. cooking now, baby. Hey! Right, there we go, there we go, there oh, we go. Oh, man. Um, here's the thing, I've never per se done this, okay. but adding hot liquid to a sealed environment typically makes something akin to a bomb. 
Mm, I think you're thinking too much about it. I think I'm thinking too much about it, right? <laughs> yeah. The more we're thinking it, because like, yeah. you're like it. I'm <laughs> Yosh, and I'm Trevor, and we're <laughs> weak and smart. smart. No, uh, not creating a improvised explosive device. <laughs> one bullet, six chambers. <laughs> who's gonna live, who's gonna die? You had one shot, one opportunity. Mm. Hitler, <laughs> right to the dome. <laughs> What are you talking, what was he gonna say? I was uh, doing oh, an Eminem reference. Was an Eminem. I thought you were asking who had killed her at history. No, I was thinking of the Eminem yeah. uh, song. We're wasting bullets <laughs> here, man. <laughs> we gotta Hitler's hold. gonna live. Okay, okay, okay hold on. Get, okay. Shake it. I feel like I should spray, right? Sure. Hey! Bro, dude. <laughs> Did not salt it. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor, we have our shut bollard that has been braised in the gravy. We have all of our foraged plants and roots all from the Burbank area. We have wild mint from outside the O'Reilly Auto Parts. We have chive sprouts from near the Burger King where that guy got stabbed. And then we have red bell pepper leaves from the Whole Foods in Burbank that we foraged. We just, Nicole just stole it. <laughs> and then we have our lingonberry fruit leather and we have the volcanic ash baked Broccolini. Now we will do a dramatic recreation of a scene from the seminal movie, The Menu, where I will be Nicholas Holt, a preening young chef fanboy, and you, the abusive chef Julian, as played by Rafe Fine. I will attempt to plate now. Okay. I'm gonna impress him. Oh boy, mister, I hope I impress him. That's what he says in the movie. It's all part of the menu. Do you like Stab s'mores? me with these scissors! Do you like s'mores? <laughs> it's all part of the menu. I love you all. You donut. <laughs> it's all part of the menu. Let's see what the hell happens here, man. I'm gonna kill everyone and light this building on fire. It's all part of the menu. What are you doing? Bro, I'm creating, I'm creating my, I'm doing my art is what I'm doing. Okay, okay we got How can potatoes. I assist you? I'm gonna take, can you take? a meatball and tweeze it onto the circle of potato. Thank you. To tweeze it, do I have to tweeze it? Uh, yeah, Trevor, fancy chef's plate with tweezers. Like, have you not seen the menu? Onto the, where? Onto the potatoes. Gently. <laughs> Thank you. Oh god, oh god, oh god, he's gonna kill Josh! me! Uh, I brought it's dude. all part of no, the chef, menu! No, chef, I'm sorry, I can do a better chef! No, here, where's, give me this. Okay. Oh my take god. Salt baked broccolini. You dig it out. This is baked in volcanic ash and salt. What the Ew! <laughs> Ew! No, I don't want to use this. <laughs> try it. Why did y'all let him cook? <laughs> try it. You gotta try it. Huh? What? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta <laughs> do <laughs> something. More. Hey. Right, I'm gonna prune off little burnt leaves from this. It's pretty good, man. It's got a nice crunch. Oh, definitely, definitely, yeah. It's, no, all the burnt carbon in there, I think, is probably good for you. This is actually <laughs> baked in cat litter <laughs> from my home. <laughs> Listen, fancy fast food. Sometimes the food doesn't all turn out the best, but it all turns out fancy. Stand up. <laughs> what? I think I can get him to stand up like How? shards. You just mash, dude. Oh, no, oh, no. Beautiful. No. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. What are we doing with these chive roots? Chive root, tweezers, tweezers, Trevor, I swear to God, if you don't use the freaking tweezers, I swear, okay. What are you drinking? Mm. <laughs> Gets you up in the morning. This is the stupidest This is the worst, this is the dumbest episode, this is the dumbest fancy fast food episode we've ever done. Stop talking so must loudly be over the plate, must you're be blowing set. the plating. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my you're god. blowing the broccoli. Why, like, why do we, should we just this is doing from the beginning. So we were like, we nice. want to be, you know, we want to be reverential, like the you know, new Nordic school of minimally, and then we just kept waiting. Is this? You know, this is what we came up with. These little. <laughs> this is just like the IKEA. <laughs> Trevor, here we have our fancy Swedish meatballs inspired by the desolate landscape of Scandinavia. So we have our potato espuma on the bottom, topped by our venison korobuta pork belly and Australian wagyu shutbola. We have our volcanic ash baked broccolini and then our triple lingonberry fruit leather, surrounded of course by a bounty of locally foraged herbs and roots from Burbank, California. We did it, we did it. Um, break out the original right. IKEA meatballs. Right. I feel like right. I remember right. them looking somewhat similar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah it's, it's just it's like a beautiful. dinner. 
Uh, let's see. We gotta try it for comparison. Man, I want this with just the big splooge gravy on top. Okay. That is. There's some ooh. lingonberry on the bottom that's seeped over. It's so, it's so Squishy. good. <laughs> Man, it tastes like what it tastes like. I'll tell you what. Uh, maybe you. <laughs> maybe it's like. Start a with a little rock. Like some of the. Yeah, here. Maybe I'll eat the little rock as a. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, yeah, I feel like you have to do like all of it in well, one bite, no? Uh, I guess. Well, I guess you don't have we to. We made it. I think we should know, okay. The rules of engagement here. You ever get a plate of food that looks like this? You're just like, ooh, boy, I don't know what you want me to do with that. You know? Uh, like, know where I'm here. Yeah, let me just, here, I'll scoop that up. Now, what's lost under the room of the plate? If you see how fancy the plate is, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, cheers. Yeah, I got a little yeah. root hanging there. <laughs> I'm having the root first, and this I'm liking it. The crunch of the broccolini, really nice. And it's really well salted. Very, very technical um, contrast. I need more food. <laughs> I need my food. This person is too small here. Uh, here, come on. Come on. Here, here. I'm bringing back the plate of gravy. <laughs> I just want to eat it. Listen, we made really good meatballs and really good gravy. I just want to eat it at this point. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. But, like, if we're being honest, is it a bit of a lateral move? You know, kinda. We went through all. Well, hold on, hold on, Trevor, Trevor, Trevor. <laughs> we haven't tried one. We killed Trevor. We haven't tried one seminal fire. Trevor, grab. Well, beef jerky looking thing. Maybe this is the thing that really sets ours over the top. Oh, I, I ate the whole meatball in one bite. We put all the licorice in here, mm -hmm. and then the fruit we thought was poisoning us. Mm -hmm. So this is probably gonna make it better. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go back. To, I don't even. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, it had to it had to come to an end at some point, eh? But here's the thing. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, we're artists. Yeah. You know, and we took a lot of risks today, <laughs> and we do this, you know, for y'all out there. Well, you know, Josh, we could have just made a plate a plate of good meatballs. How we much didn't. did our artistic risk cost us today? Art isn't about money, Trevor. Art is about experience. It's about content $251.83. $251.83? Yeah. That's well, but here we got this leaf. Well, you know, I'm, I'm glad that I went through this journey with you. I think the entire country of Sveria, that's what they call Sweden in Sweden, I think they're going to want us to probably visit their country, the Board of <laughs> yeah, Tourism. Yeah. Stockholm, I've heard, is such a nice place. They named an entire syndrome after it, that, so it's, <laughs> yeah. that's going to be good. So yeah, we'll, we'll accept your ad dollars to come travel there. Yeah, bring us by any time. We'd love to have more of your food. Sweden Board of Tourism, please reach out. We're open for advertisements. Uh, Trevor, thank you for going on this journey with me. Thank you all for going on this incredibly dumb journey with us. There will be more. There will will be stupider. Speaking of stupid people, uh, Nicole and I, not Nicole, just me. Nicole's smart, but I'm very stupid. That drops our average to being stupid people That's combined. Not true, because you're smarter than me sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Anyway, we got a podcast <laughs> called A Hot Dog is a Sandwich. Audio out on Wednesday. Video out over on YouTube on Friday. I almost said Thursday. <laughs> Who's smart now? We're starstruck for the new Mythical Constellations Tease and Postcard set. Get yours now at mythical.com.